Hello there, it's Alana Tucky, Statistics Instructor at Jackson Community College, and we're going to keep working in our Chapter 2 Excel assignment. So let me move my little video thing out of the way. Now you can see I'm not doing the same problems as you, but they will work very similarly to the problems you have to do. Now the first thing I notice when I look at this spreadsheet is that I really don't like it. Um, I don't find it very pretty, so I'm going to clean it up a little bit. Double click right so highlight the columns double click make the double sided arrow that makes it um, so that all the columns are the right size and I'm gonna center them so up here there's a little center icon and I personally like labels being bold so I'm gonna hit bold right there oops that makes them not large enough so let me highlight those columns again and get the arrow double sided arrow double click there we go great alright let's see we're looking at 2 1 number 23 so let's go back here and that's this table right here. Now notice there's no CD icon. Um, this data set actually was available even though you wouldn't think that to look at the book. But there are going to be times, especially for tables like this, where you just have to type it in your own self. That's okay. Just type it. No biggie. Alright, it says we're supposed to construct a relative frequency distribution for males and then for Part B for females. But we can actually do those at the same time. So let's see how to do it. The first thing you're going to want to do is find the sum the sum or the total that's another way to do it you can say sum parentheses oops left parentheses and then you have to tell it the data that you want so I want the sum of these cells right here B2 to B6 now you can either highlight it with your cursor like I just did left click drag the mouse down lift up or you can just type B2 colon B6 that will work and you can see it's in a blue box enter you can next click back up on that cell you just made and it has a formula see it right there sum b2 to b6 and what you can do is move your cursor to the bottom right corner this is called the handle that little that little see that little box right there when you get to that it's called the handle it turns your cursor into a plus sign then you can double click and drag to the right if I could do it there it is and will automatically fill out the formula for the next column as well. So it changed the cells from B2 to B6 to C2 to C6. It knows what we want. Very, very smart. Now I want to bold this as well because I really don't want it to be confused with the rest of the data sets. Great. All right. Now we need to make the relative frequencies. Now we can do that a couple places. You could do it over here on the right or you could do it right below. I'm going to do it right below just make because it makes it easier. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to highlight, copy, that's right here, copy, control C, then I'm going to go down here and paste. It's just regular paste. And then actually I'm going to do it for the titles as well. Awesome. Actually, let's see, we want relative frequency of males and re oopsie I lost that word relative frequency of females you can just type it kinda make those bigger again never gonna get out of here alright now what I want to do to find the relative frequency is I want it to be equal to 791 divided by the total but the total can't change Right? The blue box is going to change as I drag it down this column, but this guy right here, the green one, can never change. And the way to make that happen is to give it dollar signs. To put a dollar sign in front of the B and then a dollar sign in front of the 7. Now the fast way to do that, let me show you, if you type B7 and then you hit F4, the, the button F4, it automatically gives dollar signs to both of them. Press Enter and then you can drag down. You don't really need the sum row at all, so you can delete that. Right click, delete, gone. All right, now do it again over here. Equals that C2 divided by C7. You can click on it, or you can just type. Hit the F4 key, enter. And then go back up, click up on it again. Go to move to the handle, double click and drag down. There you go. It's all done. Parts A and B, you have relative frequency distribution for males and a relative frequency distribution for females. And we're set. All right, come right back now. For the next tutorial, we'll be making the side-by-side -side bar graph.